All units assisting in ocean search. Repeating description of lost juvenile. Nine years old, blonde hair, wearing blue sweatshirt and trunks. Last seen in small sailboat at 26th Street Pier. Chopper 1, are you clear? 10-4, Chopper 1. Verdict and Foley responding to beach area.
Come on, Gil. You look like you died and I forgot to tell you about it. Yeah. Well, I got a couple of far-out drunks living in the next apartment. Every time they get loaded, he tries to kill her and she hollers police. Well, I'm the police. I was in there five times last night. Uh-huh. Is that what you're going to tell uh, McKeegan when he asks you if you did your reports? Hi, Arch. Hey, fella just called in about you, Foley. Said you better quit flying over while his old lady's taking a sun bath. Yeah, that's funny. She just smiles and waves. Yeah, tough life you guys lead. Of course, you do miss out on all those freebie coffee and donuts up there. Yeah, it looks like you've been getting too many, Lou. Very funny. Very cool, Captain. Juvenile wants you to keep an eye out for possible gang activity at that Northside High School football game tonight. Yes, sir. Foley. Sir? Where's that 459 report? Uh, almost done, Captain. I want it tonight. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, how come we couldn't get one of those lovable old Irishmen for a captain? How is she, Mitch? Get that beat out? Mitch out. Considering the treatment this ship gets, I must be the greatest mechanic in history. Tell me, Mitch, is it true you're at Kitty Hawk with the Wright brothers? You got fuel for two hours and 50 minutes flying time. Watch your tailpipe temperature. Those new mufflers will be hot right at first, so don't burn them out. I torched the rudder cables so... Take it easy. All units in the vicinity of 10th and Hancock. Shooting reported. Officer needs assistance. Code 3. Unit 55 at 18th Street. Moving north. ETA, 7 minutes. 1L44, responding 10th and Hancock. ETA, 5 minutes. Chopper 1, responding to 10th and Hancock. ETA, 30 seconds. Heading around the side. Yeah, we saw him. Where are the suspects? I don't know. They fired us from one of the upper floors. Automatic weapon. They're still in there. These guys are gun happy, Burdick. There's a lot of people in there. Is there any way you get in from the top?
verdict. I'm on the roof. We just got a call. The possible gunshot victim on the sixth floor. 10 4, I'll check it out. See him before? No. What were they after? Huh? What were they looking for? Who knows? Hey, look, let them go. I don't care what they took. I just don't want them to hurt my wife. All right, we'll get a medic up as soon as we can. Never mind that. Don't let them hurt my wife. Sarge, can you read me? Break this one to Keegan. Go ahead. I've got the male victim on the sixth floor gunshot wounds. Any location on the suspects? They're firing on us from the second floor. Captain, they may have a hostage. Okay, see if you can get in closer. I don't want to make a move yet. 10-4, I'll take the stairway. in the vicinity of 10th and Hancock. All units withdraw immediately. I repeat, all units withdraw immediately. Do not attempt to intercept car 5-6. Chopper 1, come in. Chopper 1, you're letting him go, Captain? We have to get him out of this hotel. There are too many people. But I want you to keep him under surveillance at all times. They demanded a police car with a radio, and we won't be able to communicate once they start rolling. 10-4. That robbery victim doesn't read to me, Captain. I think something besides a robbery is going on. Okay, we'll check that out. Now, don't get too close. We don't want to get that woman hurt. 
Now look, I want some snipers down at that airport right now. We're gonna go that far with those clowns and no further. Yes, let's roll.
Now get out of this or I told her right now. For God's sake, let us go, please. I'll kill her. Go ahead. Get it, Billy. He's made us. That's a lot of poison. That's at least a half a million in street sales. Tell me something. How could you be so sure that the dealer's old lady was double-crossing him? I mean that she wasn't really a hostage. Every narco ripoff I've ever heard of was an inside job. But his own wife. You remember back there where they got in the car? They put her in the back seat alone? No way. They wouldn't do that. She was a ticket out. And then at the end, she never looked at him. Never looked at the gun right at her head. She was more scared of me than him. You know something, Burdick? You think just like a cop. Yeah, well, one of these days you will, too.